I always have to take a deep breath before I introduce our next guest because I am so enamored with him and what he does for us as people uh, within his district and throughout the nation and world. Our panelist is Danny K. Davis, the Honorable Illinois Congressman of the 7th Congressional District. I'm hoping you're listening because I have to repeat that again the Honorable Illinois Congressman of the 7th Congressional District and an American Heroes Group Advisory Board member. Um, if his colleagues could have as much as 10% of his talent, his wisdom, and knowledge, we would have an outstanding, outstanding country already. And he uh, works diligently and hard every day for us uh, in his role as a, co a congressional member. And I just really, his discussion today is going to be surrounding the 7th Congressional District updates. And I am so honored to have you on, uh, Congressman Davis, as usual. <laughs> well, Dr. Damon, let me tell you, you are so generous and so kind. But I really thank you for what it is that you do. I heard you earlier today talking about... Uh, the COVID pandemic, oh. uh, as I was driving from a funeral oh. that I attended this morning, uh, Bishop Charles uh, E. Davis from the Indiana Pentecostal Church. It was just, he's 98 years old. And of course he was just an outstanding clergyman, community leader, and public figure. So I enjoyed actually mm -hmm. uh, being, because another physician actually was the officiant, uh, Bishop Horace Smith, that is oh, yes. Dr. Bishop Horace Smith officiated at the uh, homegoing services at that magnificent church that they built right there on 39th in Indiana. Hmm. So I've had a good day. <laughs> oh, yes, mean, yes, yes. My yeah, <laughs> and, and earlier during the day, I had a meeting with Mr. Howard Medley and his wife and son. And you know that Howard Medley from Medley's Movers uh, used to be on the board of directors of the Chicago Transit Authority was an outstanding businessman and and a confidant, quite frankly, of Mayor Harold Washington mm -hmm. and was very instrumental in helping make sure that Harold got elected. But I'm I'm I've I've just mm -hmm. finished a meeting with the Chicago Medical Society incoming president mm -hmm. and I'd like to announce that on next Saturday. Yes. I have 1,000 Moderna vaccine doses wow. <laughs> of the Moderna vaccine that we are going to be given away. Yeah, that is <laughs> vaccinating people yes, yes. <laughs> who will come to the By the Hand Club. Mm -hmm. At 515 North Laramie, we are going to start at 10 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and uh, go until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And, of course, people will need to call and make an appointment if they are interested. Uh, and they need to have an ID so that all of the health protocols and all of those things are, you know, in order, Yes, they can call my office if they are listening now, because we don't have the number they can call to make an appointment, mm -hmm. but if they call my office beginning Monday morning, we can give them the information uh, to call to make an appointment if their group, that is, if their age and all those things qualify mm -hmm. in terms of the group right now that is eligible 
to get the vaccination. So we're doing this uh, with the uh, Prism Health Laboratories, who are the sponsors, along with my church, which is the New Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. And anybody that's in need, we will probably, we'll have rides for some senior citizens, you know, mm-hmm. people who will need a ride to get there. And so I'm excited about that. I mean, yeah. I'm really excited about it. So, uh, My goodness, you're going to be saving so many lives with that, too. You know, um, Congressman, you, you save our lives every day because of the bills you pass and the legislation you're involved in. But, you know, I, I really have to say this. You know, there are many people who um, wear the clothing of a legislator, but, you know, we don't always, always see people in the community like you, you know, that are actually intimately involved. And I know you're a very faithful person. That's why, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, I need to have your cell phone number because if I get to the pearly gates, I may have to contact them and say, <laughs> I'm going to have to have someone vouch for me. <laughs> and uh, I know uh, if I mention your name, I will get in. <laughs> so, well, I tell you, as long as you keep doing all the good that you can for <laughs> as many people as you can, for as long as you can, I got a strong feeling when I get there, a soldier will be there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel will be there because you've given so much and done so much. And, of course, Thank the you. America's Heroes group. Yes. Oh, let me tell you, I, it, it is just so marvelous because there are so many veterans, Mm -hmm. thousands of them who are homeless. You wouldn't believe it, but we're going to be out tomorrow with homeless people on Chicago Avenue Mm -hmm. under the Vidoc with with the group that's working with the homeless and uh, Reverend Smith and all those people. And, you know, people are just doing so many things. I had a great week last week because I participated in two markups. One was for 490, 400, 941 billion dollars. (laughs) Whoa. We marked up in the Ways and Means Committee. Whoa. 900. $41 $41 billion. That's with a B. <laughs> that is a part of the $1.9 trillion that we're going to be passing pretty soon in both the House and the Senate for pandemic relief. And then I was in another committee and we marked up 300 and $50 billion, Hmm. and that money is going to be divided among the states for relief from the pandemic, and that's both a part of the $1.9 trillion that's going to be coming out soon. That is phenomenal. I I, I know that people have been having serious trouble Mm-hmm. get in their mail and um, mm-hmm. you know everybody is in on what the issues are and what the problems are and mm-hmm. some people have been calling for individuals to be hired and fired and let go and those kind of things um, I've been trying to work with the postal officials that is the postmaster and, and her staff, an African-American woman, um, as well as the head of the main postal union, mm-hmm. the letter carriers union, and the clerk union. I have a great deal of affinity for the postal service because, one, it was the first real job mm-hmm. that I had. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. when I first came to Chicago, mm -hmm. I got a job working at the post office and worked there for a little more than a year mm -hmm. before I left and started teaching school. Yeah. But then I also worked at the post office three or four more years as a part-timer back when I had three jobs. Oh, three jobs. People like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, people like Bob Lucas was there, <laughs> Dr. Johnson that started Plano Child Development. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, <laughs> yes, yeah. He was all, let me tell you, all kind of people were working there, and uh, Bob Johnson, Bob was actually an optometrist and was yeah. getting his <laughs> medical practice going, but he also worked at the post office, and and the school teachers, people in graduate school, all kinds of people. It was a real source of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Well, it's complex stuff, and um, mm -hmm. so they've been having their problems, one, not having enough staff, all kind of other stuff, and the weather, people have not been coming to work, and they're trying to figure out how to do that, so we are working with them, and the post office is going to get some of this money oh, that yeah. we are appropriating to, to, to kind of help them along, too. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they'll be able to hire some more people yes, yes. to work to help get out the mail. And, and so hopefully some of that situation is going to get resolved in a little bit. I think it's some being resolved even as we speak. I think they really about to hire about two, three hundred carriers, anybody looking for a job hmm. and don't mind working as a carrier, I tell you, you go down there and sign up, I guarantee you, you'll get hired. Wow. <laughs> that is, if you ain't, you know, high and you, yes, you yes. can pass the drug test. And, yes, 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 yes. You yes, know, yes, and yes, you yes. can read. And that kind of thing, and they pay pretty good. I mean, yeah, I lived off of it when I worked there. And I'm sure they pay much more now oh, than yeah. they did then. <laughs> yeah, that's so those are just some of the things that are going on. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, every Monday night we do this chat with the doctors and people yeah. who've got Zoom and that kind of thing. We have seven black doctors on with us every Monday night. Okay. Including Dr. Terry Mason. Dr. Terry Mason, a good friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, Terry is the best health educator in the United States of America. Yes. <laughs> I don't think that there's any single individual in the United States of America Mm -hmm. who does as much as Dr. Terry Mason does to educate people on how they can be healthy yes. personally and what we need to do to keep our communities healthy as well. Yes. So in spite of the pandemic and all of that, there are some good things going on, a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, that, you know, and what you were mentioning, Congressman, about the um, about this uh, issue about you know getting a job at the post office. Right now, there are people who are suffering because they don't have jobs, and we have a lot of homeless people, as you were mentioning. So, you know, if they are, you know, if they're able to, you know, take advantage of that, that could be life transformative, right? That that could give them housing and and uh, really put them on the road to uh, getting out of those dire circumstances they are in. It sure could. I mean, it, I admit it is cold. You know, it's yeah, not yeah. as cold today as it has been, and the sun has been shining. Mm -hmm. But um, it is cold. But I see people who work outside, and they just kind of wear enough clothes, 
and they make adjustments. I bought myself a new pair of boots because I just couldn't find my boots. <laughs> Although I've had some, <laughs> but, but I had to go out and buy a new pair because we have not closed our office at all during the pandemic. There are a lot of people who have worked only virtually, but my staff, as a matter of fact, some of them have been in work in two days. Yes. Some of them have been, we have not closed our office one day. That is the office here in Chicago during the pandemic. So my staff have been troopers, they processed thousands and thousands of applications mm-hmm. for relief. They've helped thousands, actually, of people get their unemployment compensation checked. They have helped teach people how to access the small business money and small business loans that uh, people have coming to try and help keep their businesses going. And it's really tough seeing businesses that are shut down, closed, people can't work, don't know if they're going to be able to ever come back. Uh, Mark, mm-hmm. Barber, you know, yes. I have to find a new barber. Oh. My barber actually passed away, oh, and God. the business is shut down. Yes, and he had been cutting my hair for more than forty years. Wow, wow, forty for more years. than forty years, absolutely. Yes, good man, Reverend Price, just a great guy. And so my condolences go out to his family and. Mm-hmm. All of the other people that I've met at the barber shop that I won't be able to see because I'm sure they've got to find themselves some other place to go, just as I'm finding mm-hmm. myself some other place to go. Um, mm-hmm. So good things are going on, and we just keep rolling yes, and yes. keep moving. Yeah, and I know that uh, you're one of those dedicated congressional members. Uh, I don't think you had a plane ticket to Cancun. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but <laughs> I know that you have had your feet on the ground in the community, and, you know, you're continuing to do things. I always see things on the net and, you know, uh, uh, you know different advertisements and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, ideas about, you know, what you can do next. And, you know, so what, what do you think it is that, you know, as American citizens, because the country went through – uh, basically, an insurrection. Uh, we are, you know, we're trying to regain our balance and put ourselves back on our feet. What would you recommend to, you know, people who want to uh, get involved with helping to make sure that this country is getting better? And, uh, you know, h- how can people participate in this, uh, dem- you know, process of democracy where they um, make relevant contributions to what it is you're trying to do? Because, you're, you know, you're trying to make this a better country. You know, democracy sounds good mm-hmm. and all of that, mm-hmm. but it requires a great deal of work. And, and that is, democracy only comes as people are engaged in making sure that it stays. Some philosopher said one time that freedom is a hard won thing. Mm. Each generation has to win it and win it again. Mm. You can't have freedom and say it's just going to be there and you'll be free and everything will be okay. I mean, you got to stay at it. And even the people that you think aren't working, they're working on. I I actually had a conversation Mm -hmm. with the governor of Illinois earlier today. Mm -hmm. Uh, The governor is working. He he is not uh, 
mm-hmm. you know, sitting around somewhere mm-hmm. thinking about what people are saying about him, uh, what they're saying about whatever. He is actually working. And I know that he's working because he called me. (laughs) 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 And and, and so people have to be involved. You know, I've learned so much during this Black History Month, the part of it that's already been. You know, I hadn't thought about the fact that there was the Ku Klux Klan deal of 1871 Mm. that Congressman Bennett Thompson and the NAACP are using to sue, file a lawsuit against the former president. Mm. And that was the bill in 1871 where people were trying the same thing that people tried on January the 6th. Mm. They were attempting to impede the ability of lawmakers to do their job, do their work. Mm. And Benny and the NAACP pulled that out and used it to file a lawsuit against Donald Trump. And, and I hope they're going to win it because it is as clear as anything that these people were trying to keep federal lawmakers from doing their work. Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> uh, that that's a really, uh, I'm hoping they're successful in that because <laughs> that, that uh, sounds like uh, something that, you know, legally sounds like it's a good standing <laughs> from what you're saying. Oh, and, and, and plus it, they can't use the excuse mm-hmm. that they tried to use in, mm-hmm. in the Senate of saying that, you know, we're not a court of law. Therefore, we don't really have any right to be making a decision about something that may have been legal or illegal. But this is going to be in a court of law. Yes. And 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 I think that they are on to something. I commend them. I congratulate them. I'm going to get on that bill first thing Monday, I'm going to call them up and say, put me on as a co-sponsor because I'm with you. Oh, fantastic. (laughs) (laughs) I love it because you take action. And Congressman Davis, we're running low on time. You know, I hate to even say that because I would talk, sit here and talk to you for 10 hours. Uh, You're that great. And we are disappreciative of you. Uh, and all the work you do uh, from year to year. Sometimes it seems like people don't really care or pr- appreciate what, what's being done. But what you have done is saved so many people's lives. And, you know, that uh, the 1,000 doses of Moderna is just a little piece of icing on the cake of what you normally do. And it's at 515 North Laramie from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, I just, God bless you for what you do for us every day. And not to mention, he's advisory board member to America's Heroes Group. The mm-hmm. support he has shown, yes. Congressman Danny Davis has shown America's Heroes Group from day one, 2016. The donations, his support, him mm-hmm. him calling, helping us to identify resources. He has been yes. all of that and more for this organization. Yes. In times when we didn't well, have a dime. That's, that is Glenda, Glenda Smith, Smith <laughs> the unmistakable voice. That, <laughs> I always say that if you run with eagles, oh, you Lord. can always fly high. <laughs> sick and sick so it. I've been running around with you and Cliff. <laughs> 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 